Hey everyone, Wiggles here. Wow. Just wow. The Archer is such a fun class in this game. I didn't expect myself to like this class as much as I do, but now that I know the combos and how to easily move around on the class, it's hard to play anything else. And that's saying a lot because I'm used to playing different classes pretty much every day. How else am I supposed to do these class review videos? Let's get started, shall we? Originally, I put this class into my top five easiest classes video, but I was way off. I mean, they can be an easy class to learn, but definitely very hard to master. Their action per minute is very high, especially in the higher grinding zones. The fact that you can get blown up from one simple mistake makes the class very skill dependent. But on the contrary, they can dish out insane, and I mean insane amounts of damage. I was shocked at how much damage I could actually do on this class. Archers are unique in the fact that they don't have an awakening or a succession. They use two different weapons no matter what. They use a crossbow as their first weapon and a great bow as their second weapon. You can interchange your attacks between the crossbow and the great bow super easily. There's a great variety of different skills you can do to automatically switch the weapons, which provides the class with a ton of opportunity for different combos in this game. You can swiftly get away from your enemies in various ways too, making the class very engaging to play. For instance, you can use the skill uproot, which is F backwards, you can go backwards by holding backwards and pressing shift as well. You can simply shoot and move by holding left mouse click and just moving around. You can jump forwards with F forwards, as well as forward and left mouse button, and even right mouse button and forward. Or you can glide and evade side to side. You can also glide forward and backwards as well, not to mention shift in space. Using glide and evade is great because it's an iframe which in other words means that you're invincible for pretty much one second, which is just really great for all things PvE. My favorite movement combo is glide forward with shift and W, then you press space shift, then you press F and forward, then you do shift forward again, and then you press space and shift again. So it looks something like this. That just lets you get across the map super easily, even in the middle of a fight. Using all the skills that have shift in them do a ton of damage. So for instance, with your great bow out, you can use skills like shift right mouse button, shift Q, shift F, and then on the crossbow, shift E does a ton of damage. Also the great bow's shift E does a ton of damage too. I like how you can just hold it if you want to finish off any enemies too, it's pretty great. One thing I love about the archer is the fact that if your mana is low, you can just use evasive shot to get it all back. Makes it super great for in the middle of PvE grinding, you never have to use any mana potions. But yeah, I definitely enjoy how much the archer's attacks just flow in general. You can also shoot on your horse too, which makes for some really badass gameplay. But yeah, looking at the skills side of things, you get a really great buff for accuracy and attack power. And both of these things are just super useful throughout the game, and especially late game. Accuracy is really, really helpful. And then you also get this 10% movement speed buff. Watcher is a really great ability, which is a 30 second buff on your character. It gives you 20 plus attack power, 12% more accuracy rate, 15% more attack, 15% more down attack damage, 15% more air attack damage, 15% more back attack damage, 15% more critical hit damage, and 100% critical rate. During this skill, you get super armor, which is super great to have, but you pretty much just do a ton of damage when you have Watcher on. Shadebound Beam is one of the coolest skills in the game. You can turn invisible at the start of charging your arrow. If you move around, then you can unleash it, breaking your invisibility. You don't have many melee attacks, but hey, you're an archer. You're supposed to shoot stuff and shoot it hard. Earth Kick and Gaping Darkness are pretty much like your main melee attacks since there's a ton of flows with them, but for the most part, you're going to be wanting to do damage from afar. As for skill enhancements go, Radiant Storm is typically a preferred choice since it has decent damage, although it is a bit slower to cast and a bit unprotected, but it's still more of a popular choice between the two. Out of Ultimate, Verdue Clout, and Radiant Ensnare, both of these really 
aren't that useful. They're not typically used as much, but most people do go for a Radiant and Snare, but it's useful to have if you're in close range and you need a protected slow on the enemy. Right now I'm trying out the other ability, Earth's Judgment, but Nature's Shattering Arrow is definitely the preferred choice here, and it's one of the only skill enhancement skills that actually does a really, really good amount of damage. Overall, archers are a really fun class to grind with and have all the classic skills you expect an archer to have. They can zip around fast and quickly shoot down their groups of enemies. They have many different AoEs to quickly burn down your mobs, and they would definitely be considered a top tier grinder in this game. If you've never given archer a shot, definitely consider picking archer up because it's a really, really fun class and you're going to be missing out if you don't give it a try. Don't let the high actions per minute scare you off from this class because when you figure out which actions you should be doing it's going to pay off and you'll definitely feel really strong against any enemy that you're facing whether it's pve or pvp. So give Archer a go. That's it from me everyone. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give this video a like to tell YouTube that it's a good video so it could be shown to more people like yourself. Also, check out all my other class review videos. I'm going to be doing this on every single class in the game. So also subscribe to my channel to see all the other Black Desert videos I have and to stay tuned for more class review videos that will come. Have a great day everyone. Cheers.